How does a lumberjack know how old a tree is? He acts him. And this is Balloon Animal Lessons number 87. Hello Balloon World, I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister. And this time I want to teach you how to make an axe. Isn't this thing cool? It's a simple design, only uses two balloons, which means it can be made really quick. It's a great addition to all the other weapons I've taught you. Let me show you how to make it. For this design, you'll need two 260s. I'm using brown for the handle of the axe and gray for the head. We're gonna start with the head of our axe. Get your gray 260 and inflate it two thirds of the way. Let some air out and tie. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. We're gonna start with the back side of the axe. We need three sections, each the same length. Mine will be four inches long. There's one. Two and three. They're all the same length. Now I'm going to twist this knot into this seam. To keep this knot from coming undone on me, I'm going to pull it through the middle and out the other side so I don't have to worry about that unraveling. Give the balloon a squeeze and a stretch. Now we want to make the front part of our axe head. We're going to do the same thing we did for the back part, just bigger. So instead of four inches, I'm going to go up to six inches. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. So I have a little tiny ball there at the end. I'm going to twist this seam here into this seam here where the knot is. And that gives me my front axe head. This little bubble here I don't need, so I'm going to break it off and tie it. That part's gonna be hidden, so it's okay if it's messy. But you should have something that looks like this. Now it's time for our handle. Get your brown 260 and inflate it all the way. Let some air out and tie. Give it a good stretch. It's important to have it inflated all the way, but still soft, because we're gonna be using all of this balloon. Put the two ends together and find the middle point. Pinch it there at the middle point and let go. Get your ax head. We're gonna put this seam here, where the two triangles meet, right next to that part we pinched. We're gonna fold these over so that the axe gets trapped there between those two sections of the balloon. And now we're gonna candy cane this up to the end. This takes a little practice. But what you want is you want those two ends there to meet so you can twist them with one motion and get two little balls at the end. Keep these from coming undone, I'm gonna take one of them, I'm gonna feed it through the middle and back to the other side. Now that's sort of like crooked, so you can straighten it out by just bending it lightly. And that axe should be held snugly, I don't know if you can see it, snugly right there in that flower petal-ish kind of a twist around it. But there we go, one really quick, really easy two balloon axe. This is the kind of thing I give somebody who wants something like a sword, just not a sword. I'm not sure why, but Vikings seem to be really popular right now. So let me know what you think. Will you use this design? Let me know in the comments below. While you're down there, tell me what else you'd like to learn. If you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up button. And if you want more balloon animal lessons, check out the playlist here and subscribe to my channel. I, knew <laughs> I do new balloon animal lessons every Monday. I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister. Remember, anything can be made out of balloons, even a balloon axe.